everybody, my name is Spencer and today I'll be showing you how to make super fluffy pancakes. So watch this. <laughs> After seeing that, you're probably all craving pancakes because they were delicious. So, you're gonna need all purpose flour, sugar, baking powder and baking soda, salt, milk, two eggs, vanilla extract, it's optional, pure or, I wanna say unpure, but I don't know what it's actually called. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, and vegetable oil. So get all that out and the instructions are coming now. Here we go. Let's, we'll start by adding all of our dry ingredients and leveling them all off so we have the perfect amount of ingredients. So for flour, we'll need one and a half cups. So there is no one and a half thing, so you'll have to use a one and a one and a half, so it works. And we'll also need two tablespoons of sugar. So we'll move this flour and bring over the sugar. And we may as well bring everything else over too. So we'll get two tablespoons of sugar. Where'd my butter knife go? Sorry. That was Kirsten running by. I'll just do this real quick. Hold on, I think it's in bigger two there. Now, two teaspoons of baking powder. This is baking, this is baking soda. You can level off with a butter knife or if you have one of those fancy levelers, don't know what they're called. Oh well, just call it a um, measuring cup leveler thing. Two teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half, or no, just a half, sorry just a half teaspoon baking soda. So let's find our half teaspoon, there we go. Bring the baking soda up in front, up in here, up in here. And here is our half teaspoon baking soda. Now, we need salt. Here's salt over here. Just need a pinch of salt or two, because I like pinching. Now, this is all of our dry ingredients. And we will whisk together with our comedically large whisk. Try and get it all off the sides so you have all of that, I want to, I don't know, goodness. Get all that goodness in there, we'll say. And now we'll make a little, like, a, let's take something and make, like, a, a well or, like, a pothole for the dry ingredients to come in. flatten that to put in our dry ingredients. Now we'll add in the two eggs over here. Two eggs are vanilla and our oil. Have a clean 
workspace here. So do a nice crack of your, that wasn't very nice, but you get what I mean. Just drop it in there. I'll just throw this down here for a minute, you know? And then do the other. How does that happen? Oopsies. Oh no. All I can think of right now is that TikTok song that's like, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. And then throw out your eggs and wash your hands thoroughly. Now that we've washed our hands, we can add in the rest, which is one teaspoon vanilla extract. So over here, grab our teaspoon. Hopefully I have enough left. Just pour it over here so you don't, yeah, see, so that doesn't happen. Sorry, one sec, my arm's in the way. Now we need our two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Which is this. I have it in a spray because I thought we were just spraying the pan. But. This works. One, this is probably super annoying. I'll skip past this. Okay, that is all in now. I did not get a perfect measurement at all, but we learned from our mistakes apparently, or so I've been told. But it should still work, hopefully. Hopefully it still works. But the next step, we just gotta go in. Go to our, I was gonna say sink, stove, and heat a frying pan. If it is a non-stick, you will need to melt a bit of butter or oil in it. And, and when it gets hot, just pour in some pancake mix. Okay. I've forgotten to mix it. So away from the stove, and just mix this in. Those yolks are like, they're like indestructible. Oh, there we go. Whoa. I just got dizzy. This does not look right. I think I've made a big mistake. I forgot the milk. What? What do you mean I forgot? No, I don't think I forgot the milk. Where is it? It doesn't say it. It does say milk. Okay, how much? Okay, I've made a big mistake, but it's probably not. No, I've got this. Um, it's probably not too late to just put in the milk. So, so we'll just put in one and a quarter cup in. I'll grab my one cup. Fill it with milk. And we need one and a quarter. So this little itty bitty one. Okay, um hopefully that should fix my problem here. Let's re re whisk this. This looks disgusting. Okay, this didn't work. I think it needs like more flour. It's too liquidy. And why is it? That's all egg chunk. Okay. Oh my god. Should I just start this over? Yeah. Okay, I'm getting some help. Show off. Yeah. 
you have to leave it a bit um, chunky. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Okay. I don't think it's really chunky. Yes, it is. It's chunky. Okay. Now we can go to the stove. Right? If you just put... Okay, we are over at the stove now, and you want to preheat it to medium-high, dual or single, doesn't matter, depending on the size of your pan, obviously. But just spray it or pour um, vegetable oil on, or olive oil, either work. And then wait two to three minutes to let it heat up a little so you can save time. Your thing should start sizzling and that's when you know it's ready. So then get just a normal ladle of this size around here, size of my hand. Then fill it up with your batter and just pour it in, in a glob. Get as much as you can, depending on how much you want. Shaping it so it looks nice. And then wait. This seems to be going really fast for some reason, but not ready yet. Definitely not ready yet. So we'll just wait here. And in here. Then just when you're ready, you think your thing's ready and it's been on long enough. Just peek under, see if it's that golden brown color, and get ready to just flip. That was amazing. That's like my best pancake flip ever. Once ready, grab your spatula and just make sure you get right under there and plop your pancake down. And after that, you can make two. And you're gonna bring a few because we all lose attention. And the occasional one that looks like Mickey Mouse.